analyzing material. A microscope. A pipe. And judging by the smell, Holmes has used it recently. Liquid reagents, a large quantity of it, the same as at Baker Street. Holmes uses it for cleaning objects before he analyzes them. A sheet of blotting paper. A few files, books about criminal cases, the books Holmes usually reads. Tobacco, and a lot of it. There is no doubt about it. Everything would suggest that Holmes has been using this hiding place for a long time. Dirty water. Holmes must have washed something here. These crystal glasses are magnificent. This suitcase is closed with handcuffs, which in turn are attached to the sofa. These handcuffs are extremely solid. You need a code as well as a key to open them. Apparently, this suitcase holds something which Holmes believes to be important. I must open it. It could be the chance to find out the truth about his intentions. Apparently, Holmes is packing his suitcase. A nice plant. I'm surprised that Holmes has taken care of it. I'm discovering new sides to his personality. This pot is empty. Each of these scores bears a piece of music by a different composer. Holmes wanted to learn them all. There's Mozart, Beethoven, Paganini. A violin. Holmes often plays. It helps him to think. But it's out of tune and the sound is horrible. Holmes must have become annoyed with it. That happens quite often. Holmes's coat and deerstalker. Holmes must have smoked his pipe while reading the newspaper. A pipe. And judging by the smell, Holmes has used it recently. As for the newspaper, it's only one page with a curious article containing musical notes. This is what Holmes was reading without any doubt. Why? What do these notes mean? These crystal glasses might help me reproduce the notes in the newspaper. These crystal glasses might help me Even if the notes on the page are simple, this untuned violin isn't going to help me reproduce them. Each of these... I know that music. It's Beethoven's Fifth Symphony.
There, I found the score corresponding to Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. There is a strange stain on it. I must examine this stain more closely. This stain hides an inscription. It wasn't there by any accident. I need a reagent for cleaning the stain. Liquid reagents, a large quantity of it, the same as at Baker Street. Holmes uses it for cleaning objects before he analyzes them. Something is missing. Good. The reagent is weaker now. Earth! Holmes must have washed his hands here. Therefore, he must have been searching in the soil. In this flat. But where? A number. A number. These handcuffs are extremely solid. You need a code as well as a key to open them. There's soil here. Let's do the same as Holmes. Search. A key. These handcuffs are extremely solid. You need a code as well as a key to open them. Excellent! I've found the key to the handcuffs. These handcuffs are extremely solid. Open. train ticket for the London suburbs. For tonight! But if Holmes wishes to escape, surely he would travel further than that. Ah, there you are. I've got you. Hey, what do you want? That's enough. Take off that disguise. What disguise? I beg your pardon, young man. In a moment, madam. Stop playing around. I've seen through you. You're going to have to give me some straight answers now. I don't know who you are or what you want, but leave me alone now! I think you are mistaken, young man. Your ridiculous accent and your filthy clothes don't fool me, Holmes. And what on earth have you been eating? Your breath could kill an ox at ten paces. Right, that's it! You're going to get a thrashing of your life! Calm down, Mr. Hooper. 
I think that this young man may have mistaken you for somebody else. He obviously does not have a good memory for faces. On the contrary, madam, everything is crystal clear to me. Really? Well, in that case, follow me, young man. I want to show you something. What? But, madam, please, wh what are you... Calm down, Watson. It's me. Holmes! You were almost brilliant, Watson, but once again, your last step was too wide. Take comfort in the fact that your finding this address was admirable enough. Why are you out here if it's not for hiding from Scotland Yard? I demand an explanation. You are in no position to demand anything. I found you once, Holmes. You can be certain that if you give me the slip, I'll do it again, and next time I'll return with Baines and his men. I have absolutely no intention of leaving. Truly? So what does this train ticket mean? It's a ticket for this evening. You... you managed to open my suitcase? Enough of your lies, Holmes. As a matter of fact, then yes, I am leaving tonight. We are leaving tonight. I'm not going to let you vanish again. Very well. Follow me, if you so wish. But I should warn you that there is little chance of us both coming back alive. I won't leave you for a second, and I accept the risk. What an exhausting journey. I didn't even have time to collect my medical bag. And you haven't said a word for hours. I have been thinking. What is this place? A mill. I can see that. But what are we going to do here? It will be more interesting to see what you are going to do. I won't bend to your will anymore, Holmes. You have gone too far. Shh, Watson, not so loud. Why? Does somebody live here? Yes, three men. Take out your revolver and try to keep them below while I search upstairs. Are they dangerous? They would kill us if they could. I'm going up there. Take care of them and make sure that they do not leave the ground floor. Holmes, wait! The Times. It's a London newspaper. Vodka. There's only a drop left. This chest is very heavy and locked shut via a keypad. Without the combination, it'll be impossible to open it. Ничего не понимаю. Ah, you're deaf. Um, this man is seriously injured and the wound is infected. This poor man is mute. This poor devil has lost his sight. Stop playing games. You were reading the Times. You understand me perfectly well. So, you found us. What do they want, Alieko? Have you come to finish off your sordid work? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't even know why you're here, do you? You're just a pawn. A pawn who serves and obeys. 
And you, why are you here? To escape from the enemies of freedom. My brothers and I are at war. Against who? Against order. Liberty sides. The ruling classes. Those who exploit the people. Against the torturers responsible for our misfortunes. Against you and others like you. I'm not at war against anyone. Then why are you pointing your gun at us? Get out! I cannot. That's what I mean. You're nothing but a pawn. We've nothing more to say to you. Don't move from here. All the lamps are out of order. A strong rope made of hemp, good quality. Petrol for the lamps. This chest is strange. Its decoration would indicate that its origin was in show business. Let's see. A magician's costume. Poor bird, who knows what has happened to his master. Ideal for a magic trick. A good luck charm. Here is a fine range of suits. Most of them are uniforms, but judging by their quality, I would say that they are disguises. Accessories for a magic show. Nothing interesting. Magician's equipment. Perhaps we will find something useful here. Nothing interesting. What was Mr. Ferguson doing here? This mill is hardly the ideal place to hold magic shows. A master key, a useful item to help a magician play the king of escape. This wall does not seem to be very solid. It is not made of brick. That is just a coating. This wall sounds hollow. This wall sounds hollow. These bags are old and half empty. Nothing interesting. These boards crack under my weight. Interesting. These boards have been broken and hastily repaired. I need something. Broken my knife. These bags are old and half empty. Nothing interesting. Dark traces. It must be blood. Dark tree. Someone was tied to the millstone's axle. They must have remained there for a long time. There should be a cog here. This millstone seems to be in good condition.
These full sacks seem to be the only ones left untouched by the mice, unless they were filled only recently. A cog. These full sacks, sacks of flour, mouldy and half eaten by rats. I can call Watson if I need him.